Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another player review on the channel. Uh, it is very good to see you guys. It has been, I think, a few days since I have actually recorded one. I think the Konate review went up a little bit later. Uh, but we have some interesting new cards to try out in the next few days. Uh, the first one that we're going to be trying out is going to be not Nabry. We're not trying him yet. I got to try out today. Uh, Paulinho, that's who we're going to try out today. It's a new flashback card. He does look really good. Um, Footpin right now has the cost of the SBC. Uh, coming out to be, please hold, uh, 180,000 coins. So, uh, you know, it's 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 one of those price points that I always talk to you guys about that EA really likes to execute. They love doing 150, 160, 170, 180, 130, 190, 120, 110, whatever it is in that range of price because they know people will do it. Uh, they are very smart with that because they will release 20 cards of these throughout a few months and everybody will do it and they'll end up wasting a lot of coins and they'll always never have coins, right? It's very smart from EA. But it's good to review these cards to let you guys know what I think about them because some are terrible and some are maybe worth doing if you have the right team and, and players. So if you guys enjoyed the review today, geez, I can't speak. Drop a thumbs up. Uh, it does support the videos a lot. What we're going to do, guys, we're going to complete the last SBC here. Uh, and a big shout out to my uh, beautiful moderator who helps me out with this account so much. It's so huge to be able to have another account to try these players on. Um, so we're going to submit the last squad. Now, guys, for these, uh, you know, for this SBC... Uh, what you guys get is a Prime Electrum Players Pack, a Rare Electrum Players Pack, and a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. So you spend 180,000 coins from scratch. Here we're going to go ahead and we're going to see the walkout animation of Flashback Paulinho. Um, he does have a really nice card, and we'll talk about his card in a minute. It is a nice card. I've already looked into the work rates a little bit, so the card in general does look pretty good. Um, so, you know, I think if you have a Brazil team, this is one to do. We're going to talk about a few of the negatives with it because there are a few. Uh, there's not too many. So the card overall does look really good. We start with 77 pace, 85 shooting, 82 passing, 84 dribbling, 82 defending, and 89 physical. Obviously a nice looking card. You really like the physical with the card too. I think that makes this card really unique. I like the physical a lot with him. I think that's a good uh, a good gig. And I also love this card design, man. The card design looks really good. Um, so we're going to store him in the club, guys. And then we're going to open up the packs first so you guys can maybe see on average what somebody might be able to, uh, you know, get from this. It's not, it's not really hard, easy to know exactly what you would get from doing this SBC. So maybe this could, you know, be used as a example to you guys. The packs were not that good. Um, they're very average. So that was the first one. It's a jumbo premium gold pack, which is, I think, a 15K pack. A lot of these non-rares will sell for a K. So I'll just say in general, that pack was probably 5,000 coins. So let's say it's about 175K at this point. Um, then we have to go open up a prime Electrum players pack, uh, which is this pack. And then I think the rare Electrum players pack is not a terrible pack. Uh, this is going to be a bore down. We are actually going to get a walkout in the Prime Election Players Pack. It is going to be Spanish. It is going to be a center back. It is going to be Sergio Ramos. Oh my god. No freaking way. That is actually crazy. We get 89 rated Sergio Ramos uh, out of the SBC for Paulinho, which is pretty nuts. Um, so just because you watch this review, guys. It does not mean that you're going to pack Sergio Ramos. Please do not think this because my comments are going to say, Nick, it's worth it because obviously you get walkouts uh, from the packs back. That is a pretty crazy pull to get, though. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty excited with that. 89 rated Sergio Ramos. Uh, definitely a very, very nice card uh, to go ahead and pack. I'm actually looking him up right now to see how much he sells for. So he sells for, at the moment, uh, wow, he sells for a lot. Okay, so Sergio Ramos right now is 110,000 coins, and he'll probably be 120K tomorrow. So we may end up spending like 20k for this card, uh, which is pretty nuts. So Ramos has just been packed. Uh, we'll store these in the club. We'll go ahead and say that pack was maybe 120k worth. You know, it's always hard to really know exactly, but we'll say maybe it was something like that, uh, you know, for value. So pretty, pretty cool. Uh, we'll say 125k worth. And then we've got the Rare Election Players Pack, uh, which is, um, you know, the next pack from the... Uh, SPC, it's another, uh, bo oh my god, <laughs> two walkouts, man, it's gonna be Pionage, no freaking way, so we got two walkouts from the packs back, pretty nuts, um, almost made the money back from the SPC for sure, wow, dude, that is crazy, <laughs> so 86 Pionage, I think he's probably like 15k, um, yeah, he's probably 15k, so this pack will probably come in at about 25k, so we've really done this SBC. I mean, before, you know, if you're not counting the packs, probably we've done this SBC for like 20, 30K. I mean, packs back, we just got about 150K worth is my 
is my take on it. So that is pretty uh, that is pretty crazy. We're gonna have to go ahead, guys, and uh, get into the squad drone. I think we have a squad set up here uh, in which we are going to go ahead and uh, and uh, put our put Paulinho in and talk about his car a little bit. So Paulinho right here. We got a four three three. We've got the gold card waiting. We're going to play him with Hulk, which should make for some fun. Um, and I have to figure out, do I want to play him as a cam or do I want to play him as a center mid? And I think I'm going to end up playing him as a center mid. So I'm going to have to get, I think I'm going to put Zaha over here. So guys, Paulinho's card is decent because he has high, high work rates, which is very important for a box-to-box -box center mid. If I played this card, I would play him as a center mid or a defensive mid. One of the two. I wouldn't play him as an attacking mid uh, just because I know he has good shooting, but just wouldn't play him as an attacking man. It's not really the position that I think I would prefer him. And he does have a three-star weak foot, which is okay if you're not playing him in an attacking role. He's got four-star skills as well. And then high high is beautiful. He's got 77 pace, 85 shooting, 82 passing, 84 dribbling, and 82 defending with 89 physicals. A lot of physical. And we'll go ahead and see what that's all about. Now, uh, right away, he has Brazil links. Is not in a top five league, which is unfortunate because the links are going to be hard outside of Brazil links or icons. He's got 70 on acceleration, 75 sprint speed. He's got 85 finishing, 87 shot power, 83 long shots, 88 attack positioning. Now that makes for a really good 4-1-2-1-2 narrow center mid, in my opinion. That makes for a really good, or 4-3-1-2. Just a center mid that's going to be able to finish for you is very nice. Um, he's got 78 volley, 74 penalties, 84 vision. And then he's got fantastic passing, 88 short passing, 85 long passing. Those are some really good passing stats. The thing that's a little bit questionable with the card would be the agility and the balance. You know, at, at 73 and 75, it's very low. Um, and he's got 86 reactions, 88 ball control, 84 dribbling, 85 composure. So some of those stats do compensate for the low agility and low balance potentially. Then he's got 84 interceptions, 89 heading accuracy, 78 defensive awareness, uh, 83 Santaki. So defensive stats are great. And he's got 96 stamina. 96 jumping, crazy stats, 85 strength, 84 aggression. So that physical is not a lie. And really, there's not many weak points with this card. I mean, the only weak point is that, in my opinion, he's going to feel a little clunky. That's it. Um, so I'm going to give him an engine chemistry style. In my opinion, that's probably the best suited. Uh, I just scrolled past one. It's probably the best suited chem style for him. Um, just because with the engine chemistry style, uh, you're going to receive a nice pace and dribbling boost. And that's the only things that he really lacks in, in my opinion. His finishing is already so good. Uh, so he's going to go up to 80 excel, uh, 84 acceleration, 80 sprint speed, 78 agility, and 85 balance. So the, the goal is that he would feel a little bit less clunky, uh, you know, with some of those, uh, you know, some of those stats. So I think what I'm going to do today, guys, we're going to play a 4-2-3-1. We're going to be going to the division rivals. And I guess the goal is that, like, we just try to figure out, is this dude really good? Is he usable? Uh, you know, is he meta? Is he what, what kind of player is he? Is he a fun player? You know, there's a difference between some players. So just kind of want to get a feel for him. And yeah, that's kind of be the way that we're going to set it up. Uh, we're going to go with... Wait, what? Why is Sissoko on the team? Uh, that is super, super weird. All right, we're going to play him as a right CDM is the plan. I thought I put uh, Zaha into the team. Whoops. Uh, okay, so we're going to put... We're going to do that. And then we're going to play him as a right CDM, guys. That's the plan. So he's going to also have the instructions. Uh, so we're going to get some specific instructions here. So we're going to have both of these guys on cover center and cut passing lanes. What I'm going to do with Paulinho is I'm going to put him on get forward. Uh, the reason for that is that I want this dude to go. I want him to go. So I want him to go get up. Uh, he's got great shooting stats. I really want him to embrace, you know, the role of going forward and, and doing that whole thing. So we've got some division rivals to get into, boys. If you guys are wondering about the skill rating, I think it's about 15, 1600, so it's competitive enough, uh, which should make it pretty fun. Uh, we got a game already. Wow, that was really, really quick. So we will be. Oh, is it going to work or is it not going to work? Is it not going to work? Hello. Okay, we're here. This game's probably going to have a lot of delay. That took forever to get into. But let's see uh, our first opponent. So our first opponent has Longley, Veron, Semedo, De Young, Rashford, Obaming, Dembele, Sissoko, Bernard. No objectives here. This is just going to be a very sweaty game. Let's see what happens, boys. Nice tackle from uh, Mr. Hulk. He does not feel slow at all, by the way. And the, uh, the ping there was very, very nice, boys. It's always, you guys know these reviews, man. We're always starting off at seeing how is the ping. Is the ping on point? Here's Angelino. Sergio Aguero. Well, they're getting the ball forward. They need to do that. The like the forward run there? Oh, Zaha couldn't connect the pass. Now, can he take them on? 
Whew, Hulk right there with the fire, baby. Hulk was running that break. Oh, we found Zaha in the middle for a nice little finish. Zaha's gold card, by the way, is so good this year, guys. It's, I, I'm, I'm loving it. Seriously, I love this card. Yeah, this dude is a... I love his passing, man. Oh, no, Zaha. What just happened? Dude, I don't even know what just happened. I don't know why he didn't pick up the ball or what happened. Maybe, oh, he passed it back to his keeper. Maybe he couldn't pick it up. I don't know. Zaha just left him in the dirt, though. Damn. Lovely right now. Oh, Aguero, you have to finish that, man. Ah, come on. Oh my god, dude. His dribbling, bro. Angelino, finish it. Oh! <laughs> Angelino! Great pass. Aguero, finish that. Oh, no! What a finish, man, from Aguero. Top corner with the weak foot. Puts us up 3 to nothing, man. Our game, My gameplay is so responsive right now, too, which is the best part. Oh, what a tackle. What a tackle to keep it going there. Oh, what a play. You know Aguero's finishing. Let's go. What a play. I'm a, I really like this card. Oh, his strafe is good. Ah, no, it's got to be a finish. Ah. Oh, it's done. <laughs> this guy is filthy, man. I really like him. Aguero, all these guys. But the gameplay is responsive right now. This Paulinho is really, really good. I'm loving his passing. I think he I think he offers like he's like not a traditional midfielder with his I don't know. He just feels like he can bop, man. He feels like he's got that tiki taka like factor to him. Where he's pat completing passes, man. I this does look promising. Sergio Aguero. Paulinho. Unlucky, man. Great forward run there though. I like that. I was unlucky. Great ball to Aguero. Come on now. Whoa. Oh, no. Fin oh, no. I sell it too early. All right, boys. Game number two. Uh, we have a player of the month, Vardy. A player of the month, Nabry. A player of the month, Lewandowski. Storyline, Toliso. This guy is quite the SPC collector. Um, he also has a Konate SPC, a base icon, Nesta. Very interesting squad. Very nice. Might be able to produce from this position. Oh, what a save from Summer there. Thought that was going in. Aguero, let's go. 1 0, boys. We take those. We take those, my dudes. Let's get it. We are 1 0 up with Aguero with the sauce right there. We get a race foot already, so we'll go one more game, boys. Golf Boys FC. <laughs> Another Navri, man. Everybody's done Navri. It's pretty crazy. Lucas, uh, Sterling Fernandinho, Sanchez, Cancelo. Solid looking team. Boys, it's nothing that we shouldn't be able to take care of, is what I like to say. Great pass. Look at that ball, man. Great play by the opponent, man. Great move. Uh, great finish, man. Oh, that was a good straight right there. Zaha with the finish. Oh, yeah. It's good. Oh, yeah. Very, very nice play. Very, very, very nice goal there. Let's go, boys. We tie it up. Wins the ball back. Finish that. Oh, what a finish. Damn, what a run as well. Uh, What's this guy's finishing? It's like 85, right? I think it's like 85. I don't know. I think it's 85, though. What a play. This card is literally insane, man. Dude, let's go. Nah, oh my god, he almost... Wow. Go on, Paulinho. Go on, man. 
Finish that, Paulinho. Oh my freaking god, dude. This guy is ridiculously good. Dude, it's crazy because like he's so good in the midfield. I don't even need this dude to score or anything. He's just so good. His, his physicality is good. His pace is really good. His passing, he doesn't feel clunky. And then you get into the box with this dude. He can do that. It's nuts, bro. This card is mad. What a finish, Zaha. Let's go. Let's freaking go, man. 4-1, to one, man. We're actually playing somebody who's pretty decent in the game, so this is a good win. Oh, my God! Nah, bro. Really? Oh, my God, dude. This man just... Holy crap. <laughs> Oh my god, the keeper didn't even move! Uris was out drinking. Is that Uris? I think it was Uris. Oh my lord. Boys, overall, we had three goals and four assists in three games, but I, I don't even care about the stats, bro. This, the way this guy feels on the ball, the only downside with this card that I really felt was the potential uh, potential defending. I didn't feel like his defending was like amazing, but... As a second CDM, uh, or a late game sub, or, you know, the stamina is 96. Well, I gotta tell you guys, doing this review today has convinced me to go on my main account and complete this card. I'm gonna be getting this card tomorrow on my stream tomorrow, uh, for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, complete this card, and I'll probably be using him as a super sub midfielder for the next two to three months, man, off my bench. Probably getting a lot of time in my midfield, because he is really good. Um, I would give him a 9.5 out of 10 in terms of how he felt and played. He did almost everything I wanted out of a box-to-box -box midfielder. The reason he's not a 10 is because, well, we got Team of the Year players coming. So you want to want to compare him to that. But, man, statistically, this is one of the best midfielders I've used this year. I'm not even lying to you guys. Very good card. Um, you know, it's it's a, it, I'm very impressed right now. I did not feel like this card was going to be that good. It sucks that he plays in the Chinese League because you can't really start him unless you use Icons or a Brazilian team. Uh, but outside of that, man, it's a it's a really good card, man. So, you know, in terms of the value, I wish this was like 130, 140, but at 180, I'm going to have to do this, man. Um, this is definitely going to be one of those cards that I look back later in the year and regret not doing. Uh, so I've been kind of waiting to see if there was going to be any of them. And, you know, I'm no BS, no, no messing around. I had enough time to figure out that this is a really good player. So hopefully you guys got to enjoy the video today. It was a good video, man. This guy is really good. Hopefully he showcased a little bit of what he can do uh, for you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a video soon. Peace out.